long press the menu button. Cycle to ballistic calculation and short press the menu button to select. Short press the menu button to activate the ballistic calculator. Select the ballistic profile you'd like to set up. The optic is capable of storing multiple profiles. Short press the menu button to select the initial velocity of the projectile. Navigate inputs using the laser and camera buttons. Short press the menu button to move to the next number. The projectile's velocity is usually on the manufacturer's box, or you can measure it with a chronograph. Long press the menu button to exit. Select the zero range and input the scope's zero distance. Select the altitude variable and input your current altitude. Use the laser and camera buttons to increase or decrease the numbers. You can quickly cycle through number selections by continuously holding either button. Short press the menu button to cycle between columns and long press the menu button to exit to the ballistic menu. Cycle to the temperature menu and short press the menu button. Input the current temperature. Select the ballistic coefficient menu. Input the ballistic coefficient for your cartridge. Oftentimes, this can be found on the box containing the bullets from the manufacturer. You can also check the websites of most bullet manufacturers to obtain this information. Next, select the sight height. To find the sight height of your optic, Start measuring from the base of the mounting plate or rail to which the optic is mounted and end at the center of the optic's front lens. Long press the menu button to exit the ballistic calculation menu. You will be prompted to save your profile. Red lines indicate the option that you have selected. Save the ballistic profile to return to the main menu. Place the rangefinder sight box on your target. Short press the laser button. A red X will appear indicating your point of aim for that distance. Place the X on your target and prepare to fire.